From their seat at the Rills, House Risewell has been a strong and traditional family of the North. It is said that when Lord Risewell's youngest son led 79 deserters from the Night's Watch to the Rills, seeking aid and protection from his father, Lord Risewell marched the men back to the Watch, where they were buried alive in the ice of the wall to forever stand guard at the post they abandoned. Sir Mark Risewell, a knight of their house, was one of Lord Eddard Stark's six companions who fought Sir Arthur Dane and two other Kingsguard at the Tower of Joy in the search for Lyanna Stark. Mark would die in the fighting. House Derry were one of the most prominent houses of the Seven Kingdoms under Targaryen rule, and they in turn were strict Targaryen loyalists, siding with them in the Blackfyre rebellions, and fighting for King Aerys II in Robert's Rebellion, even though their liege lords in House Tully supported the Baratheons. Sir Jonathor Derry was a Kingsguard who died fighting alongside Rhaegar Targaryen in the Battle of the Trident. They fought for the dragons until the very end, but when it was over were stripped of half their lands and nearly all their wealth and power. At the end of the war, when the Targaryen dynasty dynasty had fallen and their forces wiped out, Sir Willem Derry, ever loyal to their cause, helped smuggle Daenerys and Viserys Targaryen from Dragonstone to Essos, saving their lives from the Baratheon forces and then raising the children until his death. From their seat at Crake Hall, House Crake Hall claimed descent from the First Men, citing Crake the Boar Killer, a legendary figure from the Age of Heroes said to have founded their house. Known as great warriors, various members of their house have distinguished themselves over the many years. Red Tusk, a fervent supporter of Daemon Blackfire I, may have been a Crake Hall, while Sir Roland Crake Hall, a Kingsguard to Daeron II, aided Brynden Rivers in putting down the Second Blackfire Rebellion. From their seat at Lonely Light, the furthest western territory in the known world, House Farwind rules as bannermen to House Greyjoy, but in truth are largely ignored and dismissed by the other Ironborn houses. Branching off from the far winds of Sealskin Point, they are considered an odd people. Many believe they are skin changers who take the form of sea animals like whales and walruses. House Farwin believes there are lands beyond the Sunset Sea, lands of great riches where everyone can be a king or queen. Yet these beliefs are often deemed mad, and none support their desire to sail west. From their seat in the town of Sisterton, House Sunderland rules the islands named the Three Sisters from the northernmost territories of the Vale. During the Dance of the Dragon Civil War, Prince Jacaris Valerion convinced the Sunderlands to side with the Blacks and Queen Rhaenyra. The Sunderlands also fought for Daemon Blackfire in the first Blackfire Rebellion. In the Crownlands, House Crab resides in the lands of Crackclaw Point. Their original seat was in the Whispers, though the castle fell to ruin many years ago. It was said to have gotten its name from the legendary hero Sir Clarence Crab, who collected severed heads and brought them back to his sorceress wife, who raised them from the dead, to act as counselors and advisors to House Crab. To communicate, it is said the reanimated spirits whispered to each other in the castle's Great Halls. House Crab declared for the Blacks and Queen Rhaenyra in the Dance of the Dragons, and several members of House Crab fought for Rhaegar and the Targaryens against House Baratheon in Robert's Rebellion. Established over 1,000 years before the War of Conquest, House Osgrey, once among the greatest and most prominent houses of the Reach, ruled as lords from their seat at Standfast, and once held four castles and the title Marshal of the North March under the Gardener Kings. They once repelled the Lannister invasion by King of the Rock, Lancel V. King Lancel was killed by Sir Wilbert Osgrey, called the Little Lion. Yet under Targaryen rule, their power waned greatly. Eustace Osgrey supported Daemon Blackfire I in his rebellion, losing three of his sons at the Battle of the Redgrass Field. By 210 AC, they had only one castle left to them, but a border dispute with House Weber led to the involvement of a hedge knight named Sir Duncan the Tall. He stood as champion to the Osgreys in a trial by combat, defeating and killing Sir Lucas Inchfield. The victory returned the castle Coldmote to the Osgreys. In recent times, they have lost their lordship and now operate as landed knights in service to House Rowan. House Penrose prospered greatly under the Targaryen kings from their seat at Parchment in the Stormlands. They have twice married into House Targaryen, with Ronal Penrose marrying Princess Elena Targaryen, and again when Eleanor Penrose married Prince Aerys Targaryen, who became King Aerys I. They sided with the Targaryens in the First Blackfyre Rebellion, suffering great losses for their cause. Found in the middle of the Dornish Desert, House Uller of Hellholt are said to be impulsive and unpredictable people. A common saying in Dorn is that half the Ullers are half mad and the other half are worse. Descended from Andal adventurers, their famous castle gets its name from a conflict over a rival house. The Ullers invited their rivals into their home, then locking them within and burning them alive. The Ullers supported House Martell and the Roinar during Nymeria's war, and a Lord of Uller married Nymeria after her Martell husband died. During the First Dornish War, 
war, the Ullers abandoned Hellholt, allowing Lord Harlan Tyrell to take the castle. Yet later that year, when Lord Harlan led his forces out of the fortress to put down rebellions in Sunspear and Vaith, the Tyrell forces disappeared in the Dornish desert, never to be heard from again. The Ullers, however, returned to Hellholt. Queen Rhaenys Targaryen, wife of Aegon I, rode her dragon Meraxis against the Dornish, but both died at Hellholt. And some say she was kept alive for a time, tortured until a letter was sent to Aegon I, demanding an end to their invasion of Dorne by informing him of her survival and suffering, claiming they would end her pain if he capitulated. After receiving the letter, Aegon I immediately withdrew his forces. With the aid of House Uller, the Dornish had defeated the dragons. 